It's the most wonderful time for a dweeb. There are Star Wars announcements and Marvel announcements and strong female leads. It's the most wonderful time for a dweeb. <laughs> That's me. I'm Khaleesi Grimes 82 and I am super pumped to talk about Star Wars and Marvel Disney stuff. Disney had a presentation for its investors the other day, which I care deeply about as an investor in Disney. They announced so much stuff, it could make your head spin. It could make your tail spin. <laughs> Remember that show? Spin it! Oh, 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 tail spin. Everybody loves The Mandalorian, so we're getting not one, but two new spin-offs of that. Rangers of the New Republic, it's gonna be a fresh new take on, 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 on Rangers. And Ahsoka, Ahsoka's getting a new show, that's gonna be fun, I am super pumped for Ahsoka! Star Wars The New Batch, that's gonna be an animated show following some of the clone troopers from the Clone Wars. So those of you that like Clone Wars, and I'm one of them, I'm a big fan, we're getting more. Star Wars Andor is coming. Uh, everybody loves Rogue One, and I think the main reason for that is Diago Luna. Cabbage, is that his name? I honestly don't remember a single person in Rogue One. I, I thought most people just liked it because it was like a tip of the hat to nostalgia and that Darth Vader scene. Super pumped for Diago! Okay, this news I'm about to tell you literally made me shit my pants. I have like diarrhea running down the leg from this. I was so excited I couldn't even keep control of my bodily functions. We all know the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie's coming. But what we didn't know that we know now is that Darth Vader's gonna be in it. Anakin Skywalker's coming back. Nerd alert! Hayden Christensen's coming back. My Hayden's back and you're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the fun begins. Star Wars Lando, I assume is gonna be reprised by Childish Landino, <laughs> uh, and not the, the overweight actor who, who used to play him like 7,000 years ago. No, we're gonna get Childish, he's gonna be in it, Donald Glover, it's gonna be great, I'm gonna love it, it's gonna be great because it's nostalgia. There's like a droid series coming. There's like a Rogue Squadron show coming. I think they could go further though. They've taken things far, but I'd like to go farther. What I'm proposing today is Star Wars Mos Eisley Cantina Tales. It would be basically just that, it would be that. Tales from the Cantina, Tales from the Tavern, if you will. Maybe Tales from the Tavern is the title. Radish, is a cantina and a tavern the same thing? Just, yeah, stay on your phone, you're useless. There's just so much overwhelming news today that I have to split this up in a couple videos. So I think I'm really gonna just focus on Star Wars for this one, maybe do another one on the Marvel stuff, maybe do a third one on the Disney stuff. Really milk this news for revenue's sake. And, 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 and for the sake of just making the content more easily digestible, like some blue milk. <laughs> it's a reference from Star Wars. Subscribe. I'd like a Rancor spin-off, something about how he got locked into that cage, how he became best friends with that guard down there. I think there's a story that could be hatched. This might be premature, but I'd absolutely love a Princess Leia prequel. Uh, I'd like to know when she got her Jedi abilities, how she's able to fly through space. That would be something I would pay money to watch. If they want to make that a premium feature on Disney+, Plus. I'm willing to throw in an extra 20 shekels to watch Princess Leia battle through space, punch asteroids, and, and destroy planets with her, with her Jedi abilities. Because quite frankly, I'm looking at this list, and while there are a couple female-led performances, there's a lot of sausage in this mix, and <laughs> I kind of had my share of that, okay? What I'm really looking for today are some strong female leads. It's about time. There's some whispers that Luke Skywalker might be back in the Mandalorian. And even though I think what they did to Luke in The Last Jedi was absolute perfection, really god tier stuff with the character as far as writing goes i don't think they could have could have done that any better maybe they find another way to kill him off and have him go down like a total bitch and really just kind of do a disservice to the fan base that would be great if they could if they could find a way to kind of have luke there uh do nothing for the episode he's in 
and, and then somehow find a way for him to die, only to come back again later as a curmudgeon old Jedi who would die again alone. That would be amazing! I just can't wait for Hayden Christensen to come back and put all the haters in their place. I'm always told that Disney ruined Anakin, which they did, which I agree with, which they did, because he was the chosen one in the prophecy to bring balance to the Force, who was made from midichlorians, who killed women and little defenseless kids. That's the hero I want to see redemption for. That's the person I want to see leading the charge cool beans thanks for watching make sure to hit that subscribe and get those notifications and i'll see you very shortly for another portion of this amazing disney announcement